Yes. Do you have a third side pitcher? No. Nope. You did prep the trigger, so I'll give you a half a high five. Like a weird high five. <laughs> but prep the trigger and have a third side pitcher. Before you put the gun away, always clear uh, behind you. Okay. All right. Did you have three side pitchers? I didn't have a third. There you go. You did not. You had two. Now when a gun fight. Stand by! You did no follow through after that second round. Not a double tap. Go. There you go. I like that. I like that. I like that. Let's do that every time, okay? Let's have three side pitchers. Always an extra side pitcher after the last round. Always. 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 Always trigger prep. Always. Reload. 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 In your workspace. In your workspace. In your workspace. In your workspace. Nice. You're the first time, right? And probably because we're both standing by you. And then you didn't do a third um, side pitcher. So the most important thing is follow through. So I have them ranked in fundamentals of marksmanship. Number one is side pitcher side alignment. Number two is trigger. Number three is follow through and recovery. That is how important they are to me. I mean, they are so high up there because one round is not going to kill anybody. That's gonna kill somebody, and that's only gonna work if I have good follow through. Right, it's super important. Always force yourself to have the exact same trigger squeeze every single time. Clear far. Jeremiah says, follow the target down. For us, man, I, I, I've put like an entire magazine of 5.56 into somebody. The first time I ever shot a person, they're wearing this beaded necklace, the rounds hit the beaded necklace right here, and I watched the beads hit the ground. All five of those rounds were stacked on top of each other, literally touching each other, and the guy just dropped straight to the ground, and I followed him to the ground, and then we followed our rounds into the house. Always wanting to shoot another round. The only reason I stopped shooting, because I watched those beads hit, shatter, and I watched just everything in that guy just pour out onto that floor right in front of him. Otherwise, I would have kept shooting. Then I cleared far, watched him go in, and I went in. Before I ever put a gun away, I cleared near. Let me tell you something about human nature. When guns go off, shit gets really weird. That's just going to happen. The world, when that round breaks, the world around you will not be the same. You're going to be different as a person. We're talking assets and liabilities. You're going to change. If you shoot somebody, you will not be the same person that you were a second ago. I fucking guarantee it. Now that girl that's sitting there with her kids, one booth behind you, there's nothing she can do about that God-given gift about protecting her children if she's a good mom. And she's going to crawl over that table and try to gouge your eyes out. She might bite you. She might jump up on top of her kids and just start screaming. Jeremiah, who's in the bathroom taking a shit, he's going to walk out, and what is Jeremiah going to start doing? He's going to start getting ready to do work. work. What about the cop that was driving by that heard the gunfire? Yeah, he's going to get ready to do some work. If you're in Texas, there's probably five more guns that are coming out at the same time. Here in Las Vegas, there's a really good chance there's going to have more guns that are going to pop out right there. You have to clear far identifying and purposely recognizing that your target is down then you have to clear what's behind you if i draw and i shoot pow clearing far is clearing everything that's down range of me watching that target go to the ground maybe i'm gonna shoot him on the ground again as he's still moving to get that gun out i'm watching and i'm purposely acknowledging that that thing deliberately knowing that that thing is dead and it and causes no more threat in my threat assessment. I'm aware all the time. I identify a threat. I neutralize the threat in that threat assessment. So we're aware. Assessment. Action. Man, I was violent. Ended it. Analysis. I'm making sure. This is I'm clearing far. Bringing the gun in to control it. We're going to fight tomorrow for guns. You're going to see how hard it is. If I'm here and Jeremiah comes over my back to grab this gun, how hard this is to fight for this gun. This is not an easy thing. So before that gun goes away, I'm gonna clear. 
I'm gonna see what's behind me. Now I can holster. Mm. 